Welcome back to Rich Words Music, where today we're back on rat business. Yes, it's the humble Proco Rat 2, the sub $100 overdrive distortion and fuzz machine that's been on the boards of so many amazing players over the years and decades, and for good reason. But what we're doing today is something that I think some of you guys might find really useful. I'm going to be shooting out three of my guitars going into this pedal and seeing how they handle it. There's a lot of demos of this pedal out there on YouTube, but a lot of them focus on specific kinds of music, and I haven't really seen tellies or strats used with the rat too much, so that's what we're doing today. I'm going to run my Fender Telecaster, my Fender Stratocaster, and my Epiphone Les Paul into the rat pedal. We'll go into the clean channel of my amp the whole time, so that won't change. I will tweak the settings on the rat pedal to get the best possible tones, and we'll play some indie riffs, we'll play some rock riffs, we'll play some alternative and some punk, and even some heavy stuff at the end. So let's do those riffs right now, and we'll talk about them a little bit more afterwards. Thank you. 
Okay then, so we've just heard the rat pedal through my Tele, Strat and Les Paul guitars and I hope you enjoyed the tones. I know I certainly did. I always have a bunch of fun with this pedal and it was a great joy to kind of pick some of my standard riffs to showcase and demo for this particular video. But please do leave me a comment and tell me which of the three guitars you preferred. Did you like the way the Tele handled the rat? How about the Strat? Or maybe it was the Les Paul that floated your boat? Tell me in the comments and I shall interact with you there and enjoy some nice discussions about the pedal. My thoughts though are as follows. So you may have noticed that I use the distortion on the rat in a slightly different way to maybe some other people would. I don't tend to go over about 10 o'clock on it to be honest with you. Once you go over about halfway for me it becomes a bit uncontrollable. It's too thick, it's too gainy, it's too sludgy and it just doesn't work for the kind of stuff that I play. Of course there are genres out there which absolutely excel at that kind of stuff. Let's think about Black Sabbath, old school heavy metal, maybe even noisy indie and art core. That kind of music digs a whole lot of distortion from a rat pedal. If you look at players like Graham Coxon from Blur as well, he's used a whole lot more game with this pedal for me and he has done a lot of great stuff with it. But I'm always on about nine o'clock or even less for the indie and classic rock. I didn't go over that or I thought it was just too much. The biggest surprise for me has to be the Strat. Now I'm not really a Strat person. I've not had a Strat for long. There's a pretty cool story behind this Strat and how I got it actually, but I will tell that I think in a future video. So watch out for that coming up. But I was really pleasantly surprised at how the Strat handled this pedal. Normally my Strat playing is kind of limited to being on the neck pickup or in the, the second position. I'll play it clean with a bunch of reverb and do atmospheric noodling and that's about it. I've always been a bit scared about that guitar with overdrive on the bridge pickup because it's always very very glassy. It can take your head off pretty much but with the Rat that wasn't an issue. I was really really surprised and it was a really really positive experience for me. The Strat actually handled the classic rock and even the heavier stuff very well indeed and it actually outshone my favorite Telecaster on some of the samples I thought. Now the Tele is my 2014 model which I've had since new and I tend to go for that when I want a guitar that can do pretty much everything. I think the Tele handled the high gain stuff slightly better than the Strat and for indie it's totally at home as well but actually on the classic rock sounds I preferred the Strat on some of the samples and that kind of blows my mind a little bit because I really never expected that strat pickup combination with the rat pedal to do anything for me in that kind of genre of music but it did so there we go life is full of surprises and that's why testing random things out like this is a good thing to do and hopefully that's why this video is useful for you as well like it if you think you agree. Anyway, the Les Paul is of course the guitar that I used for my other rat video where I went to into a lot more detail about the history of the pedal, talked about the players who use it, that kind of stuff, and I thought that the Les Paul on humbucking mode is actually a little bit too much for me with this pedal a lot of the time. I had the gain down almost as low as I could get it without it sounding crappy for the indie and the classic rock stuff. And when it goes up to the heavy stuff, of course, it's more at home than the Strat and the Tele, but it's not as tight. Now, the Rat is not a tight pedal in the way a modern distortion like the Rev G3 would be, for example. It doesn't do chuggy stuff in that kind of a way. It can do it and people like Ola England have proved in their videos that you can manipulate it and put other pedals in front of it to make it chug but this pedal on its own will not do that and actually although the tonality of this pedal with the Les Paul sounded great for me I thought that the tightness of the single coils on the Tele and the Strat actually elevated them above the Les Paul in some way. So overall what we've got are three guitars that are very different and actually offer very different experiences with the Rat pedal. But again, it's testament to the Rat's versatility that you can make any of those guitars sound so good with it. And I wouldn't have any problem if I was to have to go to a gig and play a bunch of different overdrive sounds with one pedal and I would for some reason have to make do with the Rat. You could do it, it would not be a problem. Now I might pick other pedals for my low medium gain indie rock stuff that I normally play. My go-to's tend to be stuff like the Greer Lightspeed and the Timmy and they would actually do something a lot different to this pedal but you can get ballpark with this if you need to. Again testament to its versatility. What I actually might do in future is do some videos where I shoot out the Timmy and the Greer Lightspeed with this one, maybe even stack them together and see how they sound. That'll be another interesting experiment for later in the year perhaps. But that's been it for today. I really hope you enjoyed these three different guitars through the rap pedal. Please subscribe and stick around on the Rich Words Music channel. I know that a lot of you who watch these videos aren't subbed. It really helps me in the channel if you do subscribe so please go ahead and do that. 
if you did guitar videos, if you like gear, if you like pedals, if you like cool interviews with nice people from the industry, there's a bunch more of those coming up in the rest of the year and beyond. So do stick around. But that's it for today. I've been Rich for Rich Words Music, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.